This video is about outdoor planning. I will show you how to build and light your outdoor project. And if you stick around to the end of this video series, I will show you how to make an efficient documentation and then how to export and prepare the CAD file to be ready to be sent to your client. And if you are interested in doing the same thing, the DWG plan is provided to you. Go to the description and download it. Here is the plan. We have like some lawns here. We have a pedestrian path. We have a road along the side, like a street here. We have a road here to the right. We have some zebra crossings, the white line um, in the middle of the road, some buildings, pavements here, pavements here too. So let's go and create this. Uh, let's go on the import it to Dalux. Let's go and like press import plan or IFC. Let's go to the outdoor planning here, import it. And then Dalux by default, if we don't specify the origin, it will like assign it to this point here. And then, and yeah, it's done. Let's go and say the units meters because if we go to dialogues and um, sorry AutoCAD and then write units, it will say that it's meters here. So in dialogues we'll set it to meters and say finish. Yep. Here are I mean the layers etc. I will just use this plan here to build this and then yeah i start with i'm um, going to site i start with um a floor element on in this case i will use i will draw a rectangular floor element just like this and then i stop here I yes just like this if I go to the 3d view here's what I have I will then start by these lawns here I will create polygonal floor element like this like this this one here is like a curb so I will just go around it this way this way And yeah, if you see, Dialux doesn't recognize the hatches like we have here in AutoCAD. I mean, the hatches here and here and here, like everywhere there's hatches, but Dialux doesn't recognize them. I don't know why exactly, but um, yeah, it doesn't recognize them. So I will close my polygon here and go to the 3D view. I want you to see the difference if we like um, click out then it will disappear why because it has the same texture and the same height as this um, big floor element here so we'll go and click on it again it's there inside but it's not like selected it's the big one that is selected let's go and click twice and then we have this let's go and say that it starts from zero instead of minus 0.1 and here is it now it has a different height because it starts from here instead instead of starting from here and then we have like this floor element with a height of um 0.1 okay let's then go and create this other one here i made a mistake i can just press ctrl z and then i have this point like this then i go down until this point i go until i touch that pavement and then i go up like this and then i close my polygon i say the same thing i want it to start from zero like this and then voila here's what i have 
and then I will create these curves here around these loans like this I will just start from this point and go up and then left up right etc etc just like this and when I get to here I I made a mistake somewhere yes here I just will control Z control Z twice and then I go up again and then I go back where I came from like by clicking in these um, other corners here on here I can I mean hide the plan because I have already this uh, loan I mean created and then I finish this curve here I say close polygon and then I say that it starts from 0 2 if I go to the 3d view I will see this you know there is no difference between these there is no difference between the curve here and then the loan here because they have the same texture and the same height I will give this these elements here um, different different textures and then we will see the difference I will create this I mean um, all the curve here so I will just go and show this plan and start like this then go up left these red lines here are there to help sometimes it can be annoying but in this case they help me even though I don't really need them for now then go down left I just follow I mean the the loan I created here and then down left and then I click here and I right click and close my polygon I say that it starts from zero no yes wait not yet I just click here on this curve here and say that it starts from zero and then I maybe would create this uh, path here by going using this element here again you know in outdoors this um, the side tab here is like um, an amazing tool and these tools here it offers are like magical so go and use them in every project like in every outdoor project you have it really will change your project it will push your projects to oh well let's go back here there's a mistake control z control z two times and let's control z for the third time and let's click here i was saying that i mean if you master this element here it will push your projects to the next level i made a little mistake there again control z let's click on the corner and then yes and then i will oh what is this yes like this and then i go down like this like this like this and then i right click and i close my polygon and I want it to stay like it is I mean like it starts from minus 0.1 and it ends in I mean 0.1 it is in the same height as the biggest floor element because I want this to be like this you know I want the loans to, the loans to be in a little bit higher just like this and then there will be a curb and then another loan here nice and now let's create this pavement here I will just do it since it's like rectangular I will use this rectangular floor element just like this go up until here and then I go 
until here and I click and it stops there. I say that I want it to start from zero. And then I do the same from, for this curve here. I use the rectangular floor element, just like this. And I go down like this and I click here. I say that, well, yeah, it starts from zero. I understood what I wanted. Let's go now and create this road here. And maybe, um, well, yeah, let's use polygonal floor element because I have this main part here. It's not a rectangle. Let's do it like this and go down until I get here and then I turn I follow this curve here like this you know I can if I want my drawing to be like um, very precise I can zoom in until I see those segments because every curved mean surface or line it has segments but I'm not going like to follow every segment here I'm gonna cheat a little bit and then I go up until here and then I go down until I touch this curve here and then I go here see these um green lines here that are meant to help are disturbing a little bit because see this line here that I'm following is kind of green too I mean that um greenish blue or bluish green or something like that <laughs> okay and then I go and follow this curve curve sorry until I get here and then I click there and I right click and say close polygon I want this to be like in the same level as the as this um, pedestrian path so I will leave it like this and then I will go and create the curves there this curve here this curve here and these pavements and uh, the floor elements for these buildings here for building two and for building one so Draw polygonal floor element. I will create this pavement here like this. No, if I go so fast or something, just pause me and take your time to do things like you can and like you, I mean, like you need. And I go up here then I close my polygon then I will take another floor element polygonal one and then create this curve here you know now I created this pavement I created this road I can just go and hide the plan I have I mean everything I need to create this curve here again I will cheat a little bit I will not like follow Okay, control Z. I will not follow I mean this line here hundred percent. Then I click here and then go back. And I follow this line here again. Well control Z. click here and the right click and say close polygon I want this one here to start from zero like this and then I will create on um, this the pavement here and well I will create the pavement and the curb so I'll start by the pavement like this I will go down to here and then to this corner will go up I will click and right click and close polygon and I will say I want it to start from zero and then I will create the curve 
for creating the curve I will hide the plan if I, I want because I have all I need to create it polygonal floor element I will click on this corner go to this corner and then go up until here and I just follow this curve here this curvy line like this and then I go here to the end of my side and then I come back here and I follow this curvy line here and then I right click and say close polygon I want it to start from zero and if I go to the 3d view here's what I have it's like um it's like there is not a big change you know because there are no textures nothing but one but when I will give this some texture it will be like um, nice maybe I think so <laughs> so let's now go and create this uh, floor element let's start from here or maybe let's take um, rectangular one let's start here go here and then move to the right like this I want it to start from zero and you can like go and create another one as well as you can just copy and paste this one control C control V and just pick it by the corner to this corner here and then scale it just like this and let's go and create these little pavements here if you go to AutoCAD there are some like stone pavements here okay let's go back let's pick this rectangular floor element like this here and let's say I want it to start from zero just like this and then I can do the same here like this start from zero nice mm, same starts from zero same here then I go down starts from zero nice and now I can just go and select all of them I mean the three here you know I selected everything by like doing this and if I want to select those elements I don't want to like to copy and paste to bring them here I will just press control and deselect those elements I don't want to take with me here so I'll just go copy paste and then I will push them down here and then I will say turn I will turn them like this And then I will move them a little bit a little bit up like this and this one is like um, okay but these ones here I need to go and scale them maybe well I can scale them like this as well as I can just go and move them to their right places by picking corners like this Um, like this and I, I, you know you click when you click for the first time it selects this this one here but if you, you click a second time then you have what you need like this and voila if you go to the 3d view you will see nothing no it's not like there is no like a, a like a lot there is not like something that um catches your attention nothing for now but you will notice the difference when we'll give that some texture now i want to mm, no, 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 no. i don't know what i want to do now exactly but yeah let's give that some texture let's go to materials go to select go to catalog 
go to materials catalog and then write grass double click this one here and then let's apply it to this loan here drag and drop it to this loan here too drag and drop it to the loans here like around the building we can do it in the 2d view too drag and drop it here and drag and drop it here too so we have this see we can differentiate the loans from the other elements now that's nice we can also go to the materials catalog and write asphalt uh, asphalt please asphalt yes let's pick this one here let's go and change its reflection factor let's make it 10 and then drag and drop it on our roads drag and drop please please drag and drop yes like this it looks nice and then we have the the pavements let's go and find i mean a good pavement let's go to outdoors let's go to floor and then in floor let's scroll down until we find yes I, I like this texture here let's go just drag and drop it on our pavement same here drag and drop let's go to the, to this other pavement here drag and drop drag and drop yes and then we have some some pavements here too around the buildings we can go and pick another I mean this one here maybe and then drag and drop it you know sometimes this happens when you want to give like a, a floor element a texture and then the, another floor element takes the texture the solution here is to go down until the limit between the two surfaces and then you, you go down until you see it like here and then you drag and drop texture on it like this and then we'll go and do the same for these ones here drag and drop no so we need to go down again like this drag and drop same here go down until you see the surface here drag and drop same here go down and then give it the texture and then leave run before they catch you then yes this uh, this one here too same thing and same old drag and drop and then you do the same thing for this one here well I see it drag and drop and then voila um, I need some texture for this um, path here I will maybe pick this one here or let's give it this sand painted maybe let's go and try drag and drop well go back I will just go and until I will see it here I see it there so drag and drop looks nice then the curves need some texture too so I will give them these curves here maybe I will give them a different texture maybe 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 this one here so I'll just drag and drop it on it same for this one drag and drop and for these ones here in the street we'll just go to like our outdoor here and say well maybe I will try and I don't know exactly mm, let's go back click on outdoor and say floor and floor let's pick which one here I don't know to be honest but let's just give it this texture here and then drag and drop then yeah looks nice 
looks nice. Same here. And then I go and do the same for this one here. See, there is um, something wrong here. Drag and drop this texture. This one here is not in the same level as these ones, as this curve and this floor element. So let's go to site, click on it twice, and then I have this. I will say that it starts from zero. The problem is solved. Nice. Um, okay, now I need some buildings, you know, you have buildings here, go to furniture and objects, go select, go to catalogs, go to objects catalog, and then you have like a bunch of stuff here, let's go to outdoor planning, you will see that there are some, where is it, let's click on buildings, um, you have a bunch of stuff here, let's go to complete houses okay you have a lot of stuff here let's go to sacred churches and oh these are churches basically industry mm, some industry here but there's also another way to create a building if it's not interesting it's, if it's just to give your project a context you can go to room elements and then draw like a rectangle like a big cube and then it's enough I think and then you can give that some height by just scaling it up like this or by writing a number here let's make it 30 for example same for this one here we can just copy and paste it Control C Control V and then moving it like this and go to three to to, to the floor plan to see exactly where it must go and then scale it like this and then voila you can change the height maybe let's make this one here higher let's make it 40 and we can give it some texture too by going to this catalog again and say outdoor and go to walls and let's give this one here this texture let's go here and then say <clears throat> sorry let's drag and drop this texture here on this one it's so small we cannot see it so let's make it for example two meters two meters and let's i don't want any glo glossiness here and make it zero and then i want for example um, a reflection factor of 30 percent i just drag and drop it and here like it's a little bit different I go and pick another material for the other building I maybe want mm, 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 this texture here this one I just drag and drop it here and maybe I can make it bigger two one and one let's make it maybe 15 and just drag and drop it and voila this looks like something and let's now go and create our zebra crossing and that these white lines in the middle of the road let's go and let's go to site again let's pick this rectangular floor element let's create one like this will have the same height as um, the road and then it looks like this now but I want it to be white so I go to materials here I go to select this time I choose the color catalog I go to black and white then I choose this signal white here and I go down until I see the surface here and then I drag and drop my color and here's how it looks now it looks nice it's it looks nice actually go to site here and then click on this one the second time the third time the 14th the 19th it doesn't want so i will select everything and then deselect these ones here and i will say Control c Control v i will pick this point here and take it here I will now select both of them 
and this floor element is selected too. I will press Ctrl and deselect it too. And then Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I will select the four of them and deselect these floor elements. I will say Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And these um, pop-ups here are totally useless because they're just telling us, yeah, there is an element like a small element um like a floor element is unusually small or unusually large we don't care let's now there are still three remaining here let's go and select three deselect these floor elements Control c Control v and then let's pick it pick them here and then i select all of them i deselect these floor elements i Control c Control v them i pick them by this point here I take him here uh, I take them here and then let's go to the 3d view here's what we have they look nice aren't them hmm and then now for these uh, they are one two three four five I'll just go and pick five I deselect the rest control C control V I take them here, I rotate them like this, I pick them by a corner, and then voila! Look at that. That looks nice. Let's go now and make those like white elements. You can go and create one, but if you create it, you will have to go to materials and to give it a material, etc. So I will go and select this one it's ready so I will just go and say control C control V I will pick it here I will just take it here and I will scale it this way I will just push it down like this and like push it to the right like this and I will scale this one here I will put it up okay nice and if I go to the 3d view and go there here's what I see now I will copy it like along a line all I mean along this um, street so I will go and select it and deselect I mean the rest here I will go to copy and arrange here and say copy along a line I will say copy along a line and go select where my lab where my line will start it will start here and first we need to count how many of them we have one two three four five well I lost them because of these green li lines to be honest so I'll just click here I mean in the end of this one or maybe here I because I started here for the the white part there I will say I need how many of them I will count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 13 14 16 well no 1 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 16 I will say that the quantity is 16 and the distance between them is going to be this it um, dialogues um, figured it out alone I don't know what they did but yeah they figured it out alone I will move everything down to up until I have this one here on, on the first one I created and then yeah oh it's um, it seems that there's a little problem but I'm not going to be like I create like a hundred percent I will just uh, this is enough to me I like it and if I go and sh I mean hide my plan here's what I have look at that so nice okay that's it for this video I maybe if you want it in the next video I will just try to light maybe this street here this pedestrian path and this road here 
I'd love to hear your ideas and tips on how you do when you have an outdoor project. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more content just like this, subscribe to my channel. Enjoy your outdoor planning. See you next week.